Humans have for a long time in a variety of different ways come to believe something that is so off that it keeps you separated from the power and the joy of your now. So many humans believe that they came from that which is source and that they will return to that which is source, but they have no sense of how source is present with you out here on this leading edge and that this leading edge is the leading edge of all creation. Somehow you've convinced yourselves and it is illogical that you've come to the conclusion. You've convinced yourself that you are separate from that which is source and that you're somehow needing to prove some sort of worthiness. And that in time, if you're good enough, you will return to that which is source. And that that's really where it's all going on. But friends, that non-physical realm is not really where it's all going on. This is the leading edge. This time-space reality, this leading edge manifested source energy is the leading edge. The reason that so many have come to believe in the unworthiness of human in the imperfection in the needing to be judged and straightened out and in the redemption of humans the reason that so many have come to believe that is because when you want stuff and it's not happening you got to fill in the blanks somehow and most humans fill in those blanks by saying I'm not being blessed because I must have done something wrong I'm not being rewarded because I must be inappropriate in some way and nothing could be further from what is really going on you're just not letting it in because you're feeling unworthy you're just not letting it in because you're feeling too angry you're just not letting it in because you're not joining the source in your powerful now and when you do ah so now let's talk about this grid in this new more pointed way so you follow us that the leading edge is out here where you are yes all forward right here in your powerful now so here you are in your powerful now taking the time to establish an emotional grid that feels good you feel peaceful you feel satisfied you feel good you feel a little frisky you feel full of yourself you feel love you feel in love you feel you feel good you feel good you feel good now the reason you feel good is because you're not keeping all of that out you feel good because you're allowing it all present and you've been doing it for a while and so you've got this good feeling pointed grid going on right here in your now 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 dovetailing with ideas and other people you're now point rendezvousing with all those things you see because you're not ever going to get it done so when your goal is a house or a lover or a car or a pile of money or all of those things that are wonderful we wish all of those for you but when your goal is one of those things rather than your goal is right now the grid how you feel when your goal is the grid when your goal is how you feel when your goal is your point of attraction when your goal is your rendezvous point now you're rendezvousing with source now you're rendezvousing with ideas now when you're writing a song clarity comes now when you're writing a song brilliant songwriters play with you now when you're dancing a dance your ability to dance is there all of the inspiration can you feel how much more productive that powerful now is than any other thing that you might put on any vision board but the vision board all comes along with it talk about a, a ball in a hole <laughs> you see that powerful now and now and now and now and now and now not just someday not just later now right now I'm clear-minded and I'm thrilled with what I just thought right now I'm clear-minded and I'm thrilled with what you just said about what I just thought Esther was on the airplane and she's been carrying a little notebook and she's been writing grid words she'd written a page of grid words she's just sitting there feeling well-being and satisfied and she hears Jerry say clearly open your window she had closed it because the Sun was bright open your window on the airplane so she opened her window and she looked down and there was a rainbow down there down there 
So she knew, oh, it was such a wonderful moment. She knew that she'd established a grid and she knew that she'd rendezvoused with Jerry. Nothing better than that for her. She watched it. It lasted about 10 seconds. And then she sat back up and Esther is against one window and Jeannie is next to her and a stranger is next to Jeannie and a happy stranger and across <laughs> and across the aisle is Mark. And at that moment, Mark says, Esther, the stranger said, Esther, <laughs> Jeannie said, Esther, we have Wi-Fi on the plane. Wouldn't it be cool to put something on Facebook? Esther knew exactly what she wanted to say. Rendezvous, 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 rendezvous. Within a few minutes, a thousand people. Rendezvous, 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 rendezvous. You see, this is a time of rendezvousing like never before. You have never had more access to more. You've never had more access to more people, to more ideas, to more pleasure, to more things, to more experiences. Never before. This is the leading edge of all of that. And when you take the time to establish your emotional grid, then all that is non-physical, all that you care about, physical or non-physical, rendezvous with you in your powerful now. That's a good ball in the hole. It yes. is. Thank you. It is. Thank you. When we visit with you, no matter where you are in relationship to what you want, it is always delicious to us because we stand out here in your pointed leading edgeness in this expanded universe as far forward as you have brought it. Now we can explore with humanity generally. We do that often. We step back and rest in the delicious general view of humanity and planet earth and expansion and often we explore the deliciousness of this leading edge environment with you specifically with what you're thinking about right then we're there right then we're there and we're offering to you always our perspective of where you stand because you're not standing there without us. You're standing there with us. You're standing there with us knowing where you're standing and us knowing where you're going, but us knowing where you're standing. And we take our pleasure not from where you're going. We take our pleasure from where you're standing. Can you feel it? Can you feel what we're talking about? We're standing there with you in your moment of contemplation or in your moment of concern or in your moment of knowing what you don't want. And we're standing there in total alignment with all that we are because we know that when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. And we know what you do want when you know what you don't want. When you're standing there in a focused moment and you know what you don't want, we know what you do want. And guess what we're focused upon? We're focused upon what you do want and reveling in what you do want. And it doesn't have to manifest in order for us to feel the pleasure of it because we are vibration. We are all about vibration and you don't have to have the manifestation of it either in order to feel the exhilaration of it. And when the manifestation of it stops being necessary to you and is unnecessary to you, like it is unnecessary to us. Now you've created the perfect grid in the perfect moment. And now the manifestation must come because in this leading edge environment, all that is asked for is given. And when you allow it, it is revealed to you in that moment, you see. There's no reason for you to hold yourself off from anything you want, but there's no reason for you to want the culmination of everything you want either, because there's so much potential for satisfaction right where you are. If you would spend just a little bit of time over the next few days, just making lists of things that you appreciate from right where you stand, you would shore up a grid that would begin to fill in immediately. But if you do it because you want the grid to fill in rather than because you're appreciating, then you're not appreciating. Then you're trying to fill the grid in 
and that's what goes wrong with so many deliberate creators you're getting your cart before your horse and what we've been talking about all day here today in fact recently is the vibrational basis which is your point of attraction over which you have complete control do we want you to control it all day every day no we love it when you get out of whack with who you are <laughs> you know why it makes you more pointedly want to get into alignment with who you are and you would not be who you are and therefore we would not be who we are if you were not willing to get out of whack with who you are you're leading edge pioneers you're carving it out you're exploring you're weighing the pluses and the minus the pros and the cons you know what you don't want you know what you do want you're the focuser of the energy you see you just get us pointed in the direction of what you want and we go all the way there and revel in it and we hold steady to a vibration that can be the basis of your grid and is ultimately the basis of your grid in other words your vibrational grid is so solidly in that of well-being that in the moment that you release from this physical time space reality you will return to the well-being of that grid but oh it is so much fun to be specifically focused with you in the specifics of your life while you are feeling good we want you to never again feel uncomfortable about any negative emotion that you hold because your negative emotion only means one thing you are temporarily not in alignment with all that you have become but no harm comes from your negative emotion the greatest harm that you could identify if you even wanted to use that word would be you are depriving yourself of the good feeling that would be there if you weren't doing that thing that is depriving you of the good feeling but that's as far as it goes there are not things that you are doing that are depriving you of the goodness of your grid it's stable it's sure it's true and it's eternal and you are here in this physical experience with powerful intentions to explore with delight and amazement you are here to create and be amazed at what you have created that's what the joyous growth expansion experience is all about and so if we were standing in your physical shoes and we had heard and felt what you've been hearing in these hours that we've been together the way that we would approach our life in the days hours and days that followed this moment is this we would be looking for fun we would be looking for love which means we would be looking for things to appreciate which is what love is and we would be looking for things to surprise and delight us which is what fun is and that's it somebody says where are you going don't really know just looking for fun <laughs> just looking for fun just looking for fun from this basis of love we have enjoyed this interaction more than words can explain and we want to remind you that while we have offered a lot of words most of the words that we offered here today were the same words you're aware of that grid 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 <laughs> but along with the word grid we've been offering your core grid vibration it's been powerful and palpable and you are forever changed your point of attraction has been altered as a result of your attention and focus in these hours that we've been together and it is our promise to you that your grid will fill in with things that will surprise and delight you immediately there is great love here for you and as always we remain in the book